Hey guys, it's Mike here again with Viper Paranormal. Today I'm going to be showing you some tips and techniques that are going to help you get the most out of your digital or analog voice recorders during paranormal investigation. The tips we're about to show you may not necessarily help you catch better EVPs, but I guarantee that it's going to make your evidence review go a lot faster and a lot smoother. The first thing we're going to talk about are batteries. It's very important to use a good battery in your digital or analog voice recorders. We recommend Energizer or Duracell. The dollar store batteries just won't cut it for paranormal investigation. Your equipment is only as good as the batteries that you put in them. It's also very important to get to know your recorder, so take a few minutes out to learn where all of the buttons are and how all of the features work. If you plan on using your recorder at night, you're not going to be able to see those buttons, so it's a very good idea to try to program this to muscle memory. If your recorder has a voice activated feature on it, make sure this is turned off. This is going to cause your recorder to only record when there is sound and noise. If there is silence, the recorder is going to cut off after about 10 seconds. This is a good way to lose that valuable EVP. When you're using your audio recorder, make sure to always have it set on the highest possible quality setting for that particular recorder. You're going to get a little less recording time, but I promise you, in the end, the compromise is definitely worth it. Know who's there. Make sure you know which investigators are around the recorder when it's recording. This is going to make it a lot easier to identify investigators' voices during the evidence review. Always make sure to tag all audio. Anytime you hear a noise or a voice or you inadvertently make a noise, it's always good to speak up and say something on your audio recorder. If you are running your recorder and you're holding it in your hand, make sure that when you hold this recorder your finger's not moving around because when you record the sound of a finger scratching across the front of your recorder, it would be very, very possible to mistake this for a voice. Make sure you're not wearing any clothing that creates a lot of friction when you walk. These sounds can also be mistaken as voices. If you have an audio recorder running and your team members are talking to one another, make sure that they speak up very, very loud when they talk, because any types of whispers or low tone voices can easily be mistaken as electronic voice phenomenon when you review your evidence. Well, there you have it. Tips and techniques on how to get the most out of your audio recorder. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.